Yep, 15 will fit. So you're going to need an extension. These may be in pretty tight because they help support the steering column. Alright. Also make sure your e-brake's on. Because when you move the column down, your shifter may shift out of out of park. The vehicle may start to roll. Basically behind where the speakers were, there's a single seven millimeter screw bolt. Right there. There's also several, I think three or four, inside this vent. Be careful because one of them, there's one in the middle here that actually goes in this way. So there's one that goes this way and there's one that goes this way. So there's actually two in the center. But they should all be seven millimeter. So they're going to have to come out as well. Now underneath, there should be two 15 millimeter bolts. I'm going to attempt to show you what I'm talking about, at least on the driver's side, the way you kind of get an idea of what, what you're looking at, if it reaches. sure if you can see my finger right there right that right there is the one of them so that gives you an idea what they look like there should be two of them I think so you're gonna want to go ahead and remove them Once again, these are 15 millimeter. Got to need an extension for these as well. Okay, I lied. These are smaller than 15. They are 13. 13 millimeter. 14. out. I'm going to run over to the other side really quick and remove that. Pretty much the exact same spot, just on the opposite side.
shake. Now you can see I kind of pivoted the, uh, it kind of, the dashboard starts to pivot down like that to give you more access to stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to go underneath and remove the rest of my connections. You have your hood release cable you got to remove. Your OBD1 connector. Uh, two interior lights. And in my case, I have a brake controller for a trailer, which has one more screw holding it in. I'm going to have to take that out. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these things out. Putting it back together. So I'm going to start with the hood release. There's two bolts that go up into the handle. And guess what size they appear to be? I think they're seven. Your body's gonna definitely be hurting the next day after a job like this. And getting down into these tight spaces. The beginning was cake, but now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. But hey, you're saving yourself about fifteen hundred dollars. So for that kind of money, I can I can deal with a little bit of pain. So you take both these bolts out. And the handle just comes right out of the way. In this case, because I'm running out of room in my red case, I'm going to just reinstall the bolts back into the bottom of the dash. Apparently my truck is on because the door just shut by itself. And I'm in a garage. What is that they say about the paranormal when you start remodeling your house? Things start to kick up. I guess the same thing goes for cars. You start tearing stuff apart. Things start to kick up, I guess. Down here by this dome light is another 7mm screw which secures it to the bottom of the dash. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. That'll free the light. And I'm actually going to put the screw back into the light. You're actually able to see down in behind, which gives you access to some of your wires that you're going to need to remove, such as uh, the four-way flashers down there. Um, don't forget your little dome light switches. They should unplug from the back. The dome light switch... I did replace these. There's a little tab and a little release you gotta pull up, and it just pops right out. And it plugs. The flasher just pops right out. There's like a little metal holder. Fucking Butterfingers today, I'll tell you. Basically, behind your dash. This part clips into your dash, so you basically go in from behind, squeeze these little two tabs in, and it, the whole thing will pop out. And then, basically, you just follow this wire. You can see where the wire goes. And you just kind of pull the tension off, release it, and it pops right out. You'll kind of see once you get in there. And then this grommet, there's a little rubber grommet. Just kind of pull that out of the holder that it's in. And that'll come right out. The harness for the uh, speedometer cluster, the gauge cluster right here, this has got to come out. So 
So that comes out by squeezing two tabs on the end, I think. That thing right there. I'm going to go ahead and label a piece of tape with the top of it. I don't, I know it's not, you can't accidentally swap it, but just to make sure, I don't want to install it upside down or anything, so I'm going to just label the top. That <laughs> way when it comes time to put it back in, I'll remember what's, what side goes up. This may fight you too. If it's been in for the length of the vehicle ever since it's been manufactured, it can be quite tricky. Or it actually pulls out from the front. I was trying to push it back through, it actually pulls out from the front. And then you just kind of should be able to rotate it and stick it back through. Back through the dash. Just be careful not to bend any of those pins or anything because then you'll your speedometer or your gauges won't work right and then you'll be really pissed off. Okay. With the meantime I'm gonna go over to the passenger side and unhook the uh, the dome or the uh, interior light underneath the dash. I'm gonna unhook that in a while. And anything else that I can see over there that needs unhooked. Including the door switch, the interior light door switch. Sure. Yes. 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 Yes.